Yamaha presents The Whitetail Diaries, chronicling hunting adventures of the most plentiful and intelligent big game animal in North America. Join top whitetail hunters nationwide. Embark on the amazing adventure that is hunting the whitetail deer. Well, the Whitetail Diaries crew is back and out in the field ready to kick off a new season. And it promises to be jam-packed with big, mature whitetail and lots of ups and downs in the field. Today's show is full of firsts, from first time shooting a gun to first buck with a bow. When you start looking at first time hunters and what it means to them to go out and learn, sometimes there's roadblocks, sometimes there's hurdles in the way. It could be access to property, it could be access to the folks that understand and can teach you, you know, the things to be able to go out and do it on your own. So anytime that we've ever had a chance to be able to assist first time hunters, and we can within reason, we always jump on that opportunity. Well, growing up, we, we had horses, we rode four-wheelers, we had family that hunted, but it was just the women that never did. And I was always hopeful that maybe at some point in my life I could get into it. I think from my perspective, a lot of people um, don't participate really for fear of the unknown and lack of opportunity and really less about lack of interest or desire. Cabela's Andrea Crass and Catherine Dayton have arrived at Deer Camp and they are excited to get prepped for their first whitetail hunt. This is the compact model. This is probably the one we're going to send out, send out with you. Our scopes are adjustable. We'll start up with those. This is actually a uh, two and a half by ten. That makes a big difference when you're up there. I've been in the industry for over 15 years and have just never had the opportunity to go and work with a group of people like Wade and Carico TV where they really take the mystery out of it and there's no pressure and and they really help with the education and are patient with first-time people and I think if more women had this opportunity we would really have a world of gain and market share of women in the outdoors. Breathe out and just kind of barely pull the trigger. When we first got there, we got to shoot off the lead sled, which was really nice um, to be able to feel a comfort level with your gun. So when you are out in the field, it's not a strange movement to get that gun up and, and shoot. That was awesome. I could hardly wait to get out in the field and do it for real. Now, Andrea's hunt wasn't caught on camera, but she did have a Garmin verb in the blind with her to catch this classic reaction after she dropped a great mature whitetail buck. I hope to be able to forge relationships with people going forward that they'll have the opportunity to get in the outdoors and that I can make this not just at Wade's but back home an annual tradition for myself, my family and my children. The Yamaha Whitetail Diaries is brought to you in part by Yamaha ATVs and side-by-sides, real world tough. Cabela's, it's in your nature. Garmin, the power of simple. Smith & Wesson, made in the USA since 1852. The Yamaha Viking and introducing the all new Viking 6. The hardest working, most off-road capable side-by-sides in America. Built for the hardest working people on earth, you. Smith & Wesson Consumer Program Manager and World Champion Shooter. Joe Zanetti, Smith & Wesson Finishing Specialist and Lifelong Hunter. Jim Dalton, 
Smith & Wesson Master Gun Smith. I shoot competitively, and so does my son. Our people, our products, our passion. Smith & Wesson. What if there was a camera that went where you went and shot what you shot? An action camera so easy to use you can concentrate on your hunt, not the hunt for the record button. A camera that let you add dimensions to your video, like speed, altitude, or even your heart rate, just before you let it fly. Life. Camera. Action. The Verb Elite HD Action Camera from Garmin. The Alaskan Series Cooler Packs by Arctic Ice. Specifically designed to keep your food and drinks cold all day long without having to use ice and end up with a soggy lunch. The Alaskan Series by Arctic Ice. Bitterly cold. When you change the game, you make the rules. Introducing the all-new Stealth SS from Ten Point, The most compact crossbow we've ever created. Ten Point, There is no substitute. Welcome back to the Yamaha Whitetail Diaries with Wade Middleton. Well, it's all about firsts on today's show, and Wade is out at the Whitetail Diaries Deer Camp with Cabela's Andrea Kras and Catherine Dayton. It's always a big deal when it comes to taking your first deer. I mean, everybody in the camp's excited, everybody in your family that's a hunter is excited. So, anytime that uh, myself or any of the members of the team have a chance to be involved with somebody's first deer hunt, we get pretty excited. Andrea's already got her buck on the ground and Catherine saw a good eight pointer on her first setup. Yesterday, got in the stand, uh, sat there for probably 30 minutes before we started seeing some action. We saw some black buck, we saw uh, some large white tail, uh, younger bucks, and then all of a sudden here comes a big eight pointer. definitely a mature buck that we had all anticipation of shooting and we just couldn't quite get the shot. This morning we headed out before light. I got in the stand and the sun came up just barely and we watched a few um, black bucks just playing around chasing the doe and which was very entertaining and then all of a sudden that exact same one comes right out of the brush. All I could think about as I saw the deer broadside was Wade's little target on the, <laughs> the fake deer um, on where it should be and that's where I wanted to hit him. I wanted to make sure it was a clean shot. So not really nervous, took one deep breath and, and let it go. Oh, you dropped it. <laughs> you dropped it. <laughs> oh my God. When you see success and you see big smiles, you know as, as a person that has hunted you know, a long time that you have just passed on something that was very meaningful to them and you have passed on a tradition and you have introduced a new hunter uh, into the outdoors. And I, I really hope that this reaches other folks out there that makes them want to reach out and be involved in other programs or take somebody in their family or friends that has a desire to go out deer hunting and, and give up a few days of their hunting time to take somebody else hunting for their very first trip. That is a beautiful deer. Gorgeous. <laughs> Congratulations to Catherine and Andrea on a great first ever whitetail hunt. Now let's head over to the infamous Killing Tree, where Lee Dolan, another first-timer, is set up and hoping to put the crosshairs on a big, mature whitetail. Everything was going right Monday. Wade and uh, the rest of the gang say, guys, suit up. We can still get an evening hunt in on Monday evening if you get here quickly enough. And so I got down here, threw my stuff in the cabin, and uh, jumped into some camo. We headed out to a tree stand pretty quick, um, I guess affectionately known as the Killing Tree. 
And uh, boy, within minutes, minutes of us getting up there, we were surrounded by first 10, then 20, then 30 deer, mainly does and, and buttonhead uh, bucks as well. But all of a sudden, we saw back in the trees, we got a little glimpse of an antler. Got a Thompson Center 300 Wind Mag that I'm shooting, and uh, we were able to, to get them in the scope, had a beautiful line on them, and yet the camera couldn't see them. So it was, hold on, hold on, hold on, not yet. And I'm thinking, God, I just know he's gonna turn around and go the other way. Finally, I got the thumbs up the camera could see, and he stopped, put his head down for a second, but he stopped on his own. Bingo. <laughs> I've always been a big outdoors guy, but this is, and I've always wanted to hunt. I just didn't have the means, the knowledge, the access, but it's been a great experience. Thank you for, for that. Love being outside. Man, did I have a great time. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? What a beautiful buck. Hey, congratulations, Lee, on a flawless first hunt. We're not through yet. When the White Tail Diaries returns, it's time for our favorite visitors out at Deer Camp. If you'd like to keep up with the Yamaha White Tail Diaries crew, see some of the behind the scenes action, as well as be eligible to win some of the prizes, such as the gear we use in the field, it's simple. Go to our Facebook page and give us a like, and one lucky person each year will join us in the field for a great hunt. Experience High Viz, a brighter sight better than standard sights, giving you an immediate, more successful shooting performance. High Viz lets you see a dramatic contrast between the target and the barrel for a more intuitive aim that delivers instant results. Our light pipes come in a variety of shapes, sizes, and colors, designed to be seen in a variety of conditions. With our broad line of sights, you'll see your marksmanship dramatically improve, bringing more fun and confidence into every shooting experience. Shoot more accurately and enjoy the sport. Choose High Viz. Heavy duty, rugged, and designed for the big game hunter and angler. The Food Saver Game Saver Titanium Vacuum Sealer has the power and performance to seal in the freshness of your game and fish for up to three years, five times longer than standard storage methods. And with its extra wide dual and repetitive sealing capabilities, that's a ton of big game savings. Tough tested and rated 4.8 out of five stars by outdoorsmen just like you. The Food Saver Titanium System, it's a true game changer. When I'm not hunting, I'm thinking about hunting. It's on my mind because it's in my blood. When the hunt calls, my TC Venture points the way. Accurate, reliable, proven. Until there's no more ground to cover and no more stories to tell. When you're a TC Venture hunter, the hunt never ends. My secret weapon? Evercom. It's the first ever calming scent. It's real smells from bedding areas. To deer, that means safety. Evercom reassures even nervous deer. Which can help you get the shot. I use Evercom all season long. Put it on your boots, your pants, and your decoy. It's stick form, won't wash away or freeze. Ever calm. Ever calm. Ever calm. Ever calm. Ever calm. Ever calm. From the family deer farm at Conquest Sense. The Yamaha Whitetail Diaries is brought to you in part by Angle Coolers, performance marine coolers and freezers. Bradley Smoker, food smoking made easy. Conquest Sense. Hunting Sense and Dog Training Sense. Thompson Center, America's Master Gunmaker. Nikon Sport Optics, the next generation of hunting optics. 
Welcome back to Yamaha's Whitetail Diaries. We're getting ready to head back out in the field, but before we do, a couple of quick things I always want to point out. Make sure you're prepared when you get ready to go to the field. And for us, when we're loading up onto our side-by-sides or our ATVs, it's getting ready for the ride. This tip this time, make sure you put on some eye protection. Goggles or safety glasses when you're going to and from the stand are going to help protect your eyes against brush, rocks, or whatever may get kicked up or, or be hanging into the trail that you don't even know about when you're heading out in the dark or even during the day. So make sure and wear your eye protection. Now, let's get ready to go hunting. It's our favorite time of year out at Deer Camp. Time for the annual Whitetail Diaries Youth Hunt. You know, first time hunters run a pretty wide range. Uh, you know, I've seen 70 year olds pick up deer hunting and then obviously uh, you look at kids, you know, youth hunting and that's, that, <laughs> that's always fun because every kid in every one of those youth hunts are going to be done a little bit differently and every year around Christmas we host a youth hunt out at our camp. This is a, a week that we circle off every year uh, that we make sure we take the time to get down here. Uh, and do some hunting with Wade and the gang. It's just a really neat hunt that, you know, that, that Whitetail Dyers has put together. You know, a youth hunt with fathers and their kids, and, and it's just all catered towards the kids. I mean, it's, we just had a lot, a lot of fun. Let's meet some of our youth hunters. First, we have Emily and Nicholas Gieske, who belong to head cameraman and Whitetail Diaries crew member, Kevin Gieske. That's how it's done. Also visiting is our good friend J.J. Ducharme, who brought his daughter Madeline. And our longtime friend, Bassmaster Touring Pro, Edwin Evers, is down here with his son Cade for his very first hunt ever. It, that's like a flat old sun trip and not a long flight at all and it was good. Edwin and Kevin are going to attempt the brave task of taking their five-year-olds out to the deer stand for their very first hunt. When you go hunting with a five-year-old, it's a completely different game. When I took my backpack, I, I took all my stuff out that I normally hunt with, and I put games, and I put snacks, and I put things, an iPad, things to entertain him in that place that where, he, where he'd have fun, where it's all about him enjoying the experience. I'm sitting over there trying to explain something with Cade, you know, thinking that maybe you guys are filming it for TV purposes about harvesting a deer and what we do with it. And I look over there at, at Nicholas and he's got his eyeball and his ear all in the camera. I'm trying to be so quiet the rest of, you know, that whole evening and, and just at that point I lost it. <laughs> I'm sorry, Gary. <laughs> It was a lot of fun. I mean, a lot, a lot of fun. And it was neat when I got out of that blind, my son said, man, that was a lot of fun tonight, Dad. We saw a lot of deer. So it was a really neat evening. On their second afternoon in the blind, the boys were just quiet enough to let a mature doe come into range. It was a really intense 20 minutes for me because, you know, we've made the decision we're going to harvest a deer. And, you know, my heart's pounding like I'm the one shooting this deer. And we got lined up on one and, and, and you know, I just said, whenever you're ready, son, and before long, he pulled the trigger and, and we had a dead deer on the ground. Perfect hit, perfect. Got her, Kate. You got her, buddy. You got her. Awesome, Kate. We go get her? It's just beyond words. You just, I was so excited. I mean, we harvested his first deer, his first deer. I mean, that's just like, that's a monumental moment in his life. Good shot. Yay! It was good. I shot my first deer. I was really excited. And my dad was shaking like a leaf. Come on, bud. She's gonna be right up here. I'm coming. I'm right behind you, Dad. Alright. Right there. Yeah, she did. Let's what? go. Let's go. This is right where she's at. This is her perfect shot, buddy. That's right where you were aiming, wasn't it? It was really cool. Blood was coming out and everything. I'm just, I'm thankful. I'm excited. It was just, just a neat deal to have it happen, you know, just 
building up to all this, you know, I'm nervous, I'm praying about it, I'm, I'm wanting it to be a good experience for my son. And, uh, man, I couldn't be any happier how it ended. He's so excited for you. Isn't it awesome? That's such a great shot, Kate. I just can't believe you did so good. I'm so proud. I am. Congratulations, Kate, on your very first Whitetail Doe. More fun from the youth hunt when Whitetail Diaries returns. Stealth Cam. Trail cameras with features you demand. With the durability and performance you can count on. Built to withstand even the harshest conditions. Stealth Cam. Join the Trail Cam Revolution. Ingalls got the original high performance cooler and a whole lot more. Ingle coolers go with the original. I've never shot a multicolored pig like that. That is just awesome. First pig with the crossbow. I am pumped and excited. If you enjoy the outdoors, you're going to want to have a Bubba Blade by your side. Introducing the Bubba Blade Rhino, AKA the stubby skinning knife. Well, on this pig today, the, I used the bubble blade stubby. I mean, that thing worked phenomenally. We've shortened up the handle to four inches and put a razor sharp four inch skinning blade on it to make the perfect skinning and gutting knife. You'll be able to work close in with ease. Like all bubble blades, the knife features our patented handle that gets sticky when wet, so it won't slip out of your hand while you're working. Combined with our razor sharp skinning blade, you have one kick ass knife. Go online at BubbaBlade.com to order your Bubba Blade today. When it comes to racing big deer, Purina is the leader in deer nutrition research. Our Antler Max research and development team is committed to developing products that provide results in your deer management program with a difference you can see. If you're ready to take your deer operation to the next level, look no further than Purina's new and improved Antler Max premium deer feeds. You can find them at your local Purina retailer. Purina Antler Max Premium Deer Feed, a difference you can see. Nikon's no-fault policy was created for those who continually push the envelope, travel the farthest, stay the longest, brave the most hostile elements. We do our best to deliver on our promise of a lifetime of performance. And we'll stand with you should accidents happen. Trust. Earned. Nikon. Welcome back to the Yamaha Whitetail Diaries with Wade Middleton. Now we're down at the Whitetail Diaries Deer Camp for the annual youth hunt and having a blast. How Whitetail Diaries catered to these kids. We had food out the ears, we had light sticks at night, we had a campfire, roasting marshmallows, making s'mores. It's just something that he's going to remember forever. Garmin's Ted Gardner has arrived with his son Jack, who are no strangers to deer camp. I've been coming down here with my son Jack, who's 14 now, for about the past five years, I think. And you know, you're not here to do business as much as you are just to enjoy time, uh, you know, with with your son and and with the other, you know, dads that are down here and and uh, you know, see some 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 friends that you haven't seen uh, since the past year and make some new ones along the way. I've uh, become from a junior here at the uh, deer camp to now I'm one of the older uh, people who's here and uh, it's nice to see all the uh, the younger kids uh, where I was shooting a, my first deer and that's so exciting for them and it's really exciting for me now that I'm shooting with a bow and uh, big bucks, it's a lot of fun. 
When you look back at a couple of Jack's uh, other trips, you know, he took a doe on his first trip down, and then he took a buck with a rifle. Uh, you got to spend some time learning about tracking on that rifle hunt. And then when he started to learn to shoot a bow, you could see him begin to evolve as, as a hunter. And that's not uncommon for people as they expand their, their abilities and learn more about other means and methods when it comes to deer hunting. So at the end of that first uh, year of, of uh, bow hunting, when he didn't get one, it didn't surprise me that he was excited and more dedicated and determined as ever to come back the next year and to be able to hopefully get one in range. Jack has been out in the field several times now and has had no luck, but is hopeful that today is the day. On our last night, we went uh, back to the honey hole. The first part of that hunt was almost a complete replay of the first time we were in the honey hole. We saw a lot of the same deer, a lot of the same stuff. We had a mature buck come by, and Jack said, you know what, now I think I'm gonna pass. I pass up on a, a deer I could have taken that we had seen the first night we were out, just to see if any more would come in, and uh, soon we were just covered in bucks. In there, in the back, uh, we saw what caught our attention, a really nice high time uh, deer. Turned out to be a 10-point deer that, that I had never seen before. Every time we saw those antlers, they looked better and better and better. And sure enough, this deer comes out, and he comes out in a hurry, and, and he is right there in the opening. And I, I, I told Jack, get him, Jack. All of that practice in my backyard every night after school, just going out and shooting to see it finally pay off and to know that I had finally shot my first deer with a bow, it was a great feeling. Hey! <laughs> All right! Awesome, Jack. I saw that smile on your face, Dad. Hot wow. Man. You know, the, this whole youth hunt concept that Wade's got down, I think is awesome. I mean, it, it teaches young boys and girls, you know, how to be sportsmen and women. Um, you know, more than anything, it's just spending time with my son. When you start to pass down the traditions of hunting uh, to first time hunters, it's, it's so important to, you know, to share your experiences, to let them enjoy it. Uh, don't be totally overbearing, but always make sure and keep safety in mind when you're doing that and, and do things in a manner that are gonna, uh, you know, pass on the traditions in the right way. Do them in a manner that it's fun, so they wanna do it again, but do it in a manner that it's respectful and, and beneficial so that when it comes time for the first time hunter that you just took out to be able to pass those things on to the next generation, they take the lessons they learn from you and they keep passing it on. And that's what keeps hunting going on for generations to come. Hey, thanks for watching. Join us next week, won't you, for another exciting entry in the Yamaha Whitetail Diaries. This season on the Yamaha Whitetail Diaries. I think it's <laughs> <laughs> If you'd like to keep up with the Yamaha Whitetail Diaries crew, see some of the behind the scenes action as well as be eligible to win some of the prizes such as the gear we use in the field, it's simple. Go to our Facebook page and give us a like and one lucky person each year will join us in the field for a great hunt. I found one. There's two things. It must be death. Tell them about your first time sleeping on the bottom of the bus <laughs> That's how it's done. <laughs> <laughs>